Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today's topic is don't let your past control your relationships. We've all had stuff happen to us during our years. It could be our teen years, it could be our early 20s, sometimes it's even going into middle age and something happens to us that causes us to make different decisions down the road. And mostly that's because that past of what happened to us, we haven't actually directly dealt with the way we should have. So it haunts us. It keeps us feeling either insecure, guarded, jaded, whatever the term is that is affecting you. You have to learn how to deal with this. Otherwise, all your relationships are going to end up being in a similar situation because you're not handling the whole picture as to how you should. And if you're bringing in past stuff to a new relationship and you're talking about it or you're, you're being defensive due to some things that maybe you're just scared of within this new relationship, you're going to push them away. So it's really, really important to talk to somebody about a situation that you're having troubles getting over. Because if you're thinking about it on a regular basis, and starting to freak out every time you date somebody, oh my God, it's gonna happen again. Is this, am I gonna be either cheated on or is this person gonna run away on me? All these things that have happened to you in the past, you start bringing them into your future with every single person that you end up going out with. And what happens is this just keeps building up and it builds up to the point where you become so paranoid about it and very insecure about it that every single person that you're dating, you're now sort of almost clinging on to or you're pushing away. It seems to be one or the other that happens when you're not dealing with these past scenarios properly. So I really suggest that you sit down and actually take a good look at what happened. Talk to the person that hurt you or that you hurt or whatever happened and see if you can figure out a way to combat this, this sort of nagging insecurity within you. Because you deserve to be happy and you don't want your partner sitting there thinking every time they turn around you're going to be freaking out about something because you haven't dealt with it. So first of all, do not push your partner away because of it without at least telling them that it's a fear within you or it's something that you need to deal with and that maybe they can help you deal with it. Don't try to do it completely on your own if it's bothering you with every single person that you're dating because this is something that's going to continually, continually be a problem for you because you're not dealing with it and getting to the root of the problem. So the main thing to remember is you're not alone. Everybody has a past. Everybody has something that they're dealing with that comes back to, to make them think about things again. And everybody has fears. But when you deal with those fears and you go head on to dealing with them is when you're going to be able to get into a great relationship because you're not pushing them underneath everything and just working around on top and pretending that all those things aren't there. You need to get rid of those things. So if your past is causing problems in every relationship or every time you go out and date somebody, you need to work on it because it's not going to fix itself. You have to deal with it and you have to battle those demons. So please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think, what's worked for you. If you had a past that's been just like major nightmare that you can't get rid of and then finally you did, share your thoughts because it can always help other people. And that's why I do this, this show is because I want everybody out there to have different views and, and have some help at their fingertips whenever they're freaking out about what they can do about something. So leave your comments and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber City.